If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter and I will retweet it. But regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 18 Manchester United career mode. This is Season 3, Episode 1. In today's episode, we're going to be starting a brand new season here today. And I want to make a deal with you. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer for that next episode. So in today's video, we have two matches. The first of which is against Tottenham Hotspur. And then we face Pep Guardiola's Manchester City in the Manchester Derby which is going to be huge. We managed to sign three brand new players in today's episode, and we do have some um, comings and goings as well. We do manage to sell a couple of players. We managed to sign Harry Kane from Tottenham Hotspur. We managed to sign Shinji Kagawa back at Manchester United. You know, I'm so, so happy that he's going to be returning. I love Shinji Kagawa in real life, and we'll talk a bit more about Harry Kane and uh, Shinji in a minute. But uh, yeah, we also managed to sign Kante as well to partner up with Paul Pogba in the midfield. So guys, if you still are enjoying this Manchester United career mode and would like to see more potentially Season 4, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below those suggestions for player transfers and if you'd like to see Season 4 and whatnot. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the United career series. It's a great way for letting me sort of to gauge the general consensus and, and everyone's opinion. So leave a like, a dislike, whatever. Let me know in the comments. So we've officially signed Harry Kane at Manchester United. I'm so happy that we've gone and done that because last season, man, if you guys can remember, we lost two matches against Tottenham in the league and Harry Kane scored like a hat-trick against me. He might have scored two, but he's absolutely been a thorn in my side in this career series for so long, scoring so many goals against me. So I thought, why not? Let's sign Harry Kane up at Manchester United. I'd love to see him come to Old Trafford at real life. Probably... Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen for maybe a good four or five years, but I definitely can see him being a red devil. We're going to go for Kante as well to partner up with Paul Pogba in the midfield. Now, Golan is going down in stats. We basically bought him in as a cheaper option just for a couple of seasons. But Kante, 28 years of age, 90 overall. I love this French-speaking contingent we have at Old Trafford now. Obviously, we have Romelu Lukaku up top who speaks French. We've got Martial, we've got Paul Pogba, we've got Samuel Umtiti. We've got a lot of French-speaking players. Eric Bailly as well from uh, Cote d'Ivoire. He actually speaks French. And we're going to be actually doing a Player Plus cash deal for Aaron Ramsey. And they've accepted, which is absolutely... Absolutely insane and hilarious, to say the least. We signed Aaron Ramsey for free on a pre-contract last season. No way in hell I'm going to let that Welsh scumbag play for the Red Devils. I basically bought him just as an asset to hopefully sell on and make some money. I kid, I kid, Arsenal fans, calm down. But no, he just really couldn't fit into the system. Nothing against Aaron Ramsey. Uh, Ross Barkley, yeah, couldn't really fit in either, so he might be another one trying to go. We did play Ozil, and we did play Sanchez uh, quite a bit, but we've managed to bring in Kante, which is... He's 90 overall, and he's an absolute beast in career mode. I can't recommend him enough. You might turn it. You might be like, he's five foot six, Simpson. Mate, what the fuck are you on about? Play with Kante in FIFA. He's absolutely incredible, and I know that from a fact from my Real Madrid career mode. Now let's quickly talk about Shinji Kagawa. Now, when Shinji signed for Manchester United, I was so so happy because Alex Ferguson was at the helm. Of course, he brought in Shinji, and he really loves Shinji as well. He's going to bring and build Manchester United around Shinji in that 4-2-3-1 mould. But what happened, which really wasn't Shinji's fault, is that the best striker in the Premier League became available and Robin Van Persie at the time and Sir Alex Ferguson couldn't like sort of he bought Shinji with the plan to build Manchester United around him put Wayne Rooney up top maybe bring in another striker but it, it just really it just really couldn't it just really didn't work out because obviously you've got Robin Van Persie up top as the striker then you've got Wayne Rooney playing that cam sort of role that's where he was going to play him um 
and then uh, obviously Shinji got played out to the left. He got played out to the right. He's he's so such a good footballer on the ball. The passing is probably some of the best I've seen in Old Trafford. Shinji Kagawa, but he was just played out of position, and obviously he's quite short. He's a small Japanese man. He really really couldn't tough up the Premier League, and then obviously under Louis Van Gaal was um, was he sold under Van Gaal or Moisey? I can't remember, but um, yeah, it just didn't work out, those two regimes, of course. But we're going to be playing against Tottenham Hotspur here today. Griezmann, Lukaku, uh, Messi up top, Martial on the right. We've got Kante in the middle, Pogba as well, Ronaldo on the left, Samuel Umtiti, Jose Jimenez, and then we've got, of course, Eric B and David De Gea in goal. Another French-speaking person, I forgot about Griezmann. We've got this sort of really cool Spanish... French contingent. So let's see who Pochettino is going to be playing up front. So he's got Jansen Ali, Riyad Mahrez on the left. They've got Marcus Rojo. Obviously, we did sell them him to them. Dembele, Wanyama in the midfield. Oh, Sanchez, Lloris, Sergio Aurier, Platard. So that left-hand side, I think we can explo expose and, and hopefully try and cut down. Messi on the ball, finds Paul Pogba on the left-hand side. Messi finds Romelu Lukaku, sneaks in, Martial, and we're 1-0 up. Come on, United. Just before the, what, fifth minute there? Martial slipped through on goal. We're carving the defence up like carving a cake. And uh, hopefully we'll give Harry Kane a, a run to the squad a little bit later. I will be giving him his debut here today. Kante's of, obviously, of course playing and has his debut but this is the first match of today's episode we face Man City later Marcus Rojo finds Wanyama, Ali Jansen, look at that, Eric Bay charging forward, Griezmann slips through to Romelu Lukaku ah, I didn't mean to go for a shot there Messi finds Kante Lukaku, why has Anthony Martial got acres of space on this side, he's going to go 2 for 2 with the Ronaldo chop Luckily finds Ronaldo. Oh, he's rocketed the crossbar. Oh, man. Janssen loses the header to Eric B. Messi. Griezmann. Griezmann's still on the ball. Finds Kante. Pops it over the top to Ronaldo. See? Oh, B. What? Oh, my God. Eric B. started off that that play exceptionally well, charging from centre back over the top of Janssen. Wins the header to Messi. Messi feeds it. To the, I think I feed it to Kante, and then it went to the left. Ronaldo whips it into the box to Eric Bailly, the Cote d'Ivoire international, the Ivory Coast man. Wins it in the air. Oh, phenomenal stuff. I really score headers in FIFA, and when I do, I fucking love it. Come on, Eric Bailly. Griezmann. Messi. Drills it to the right of Martial again. We're really exposing that left-hand side, like I said. Martial was just tearing them apart. And nearly sneaks that one in. Paul Pogba holds up the ball incredibly well. Goes his own shot, but it skips over the Wembley fence. Come on, Unite. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. Martial. Harry Kane. Fresh off the bench. Cool, calm, and collected. <laughs> the former Spurs captain scores against his former side. Doesn't celebrate. Wants to go back and scores more. Martial did most of the running there, but Harry Kane scores his first Manchester United goal against Tottenham Hotspur, no less. Okay, let's try to make some substitutions now. Let's bring on Marcus Rashford to try and kill off this match. We're 3-0 up. Let's bring on the youngster and try and get some goals. We've also got Mario Balotelli. I might bring him on for uh, Lukaku. Sanchez Weigl still as well. Yeah, I don't know. It's, um... Palatelli hasn't been, I mean, uh, Romelu Lukaku hasn't been playing that well. Oh, that's a penalty! Come on, Mario! Oh, Super Mario gets denied. Harry Kane on an amazing counter-attack here. Can he go two for two? Unselfishly finds Balotelli fresh off the bench. Seals the deal, puts the nail in the coffin. Mario Balotelli, the Italian international, makes it 4-0 against Pochettino's Tottenham Hotspur at Wembley as well. Huge, huge scenes away here for the Red Devils. Mario Balotelli, Bolotti's replacement. Mario has been so good for us this season and popping up with those late goals is awesome to say the least. Mario 
trying to help out Marcus on the, the left-hand side. Harry Kane pops it over the top to Martial, and he's through it again. Martial! Oh, nearly makes it five goals. It's all one-way traffic for the Red Devils here. Mario Balotelli's been denied. Nearly gets a lucky rebound, but Loris gets a hand to it. But that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. We've claimed an emphatic, an emphatic, to say the least, 4-0 victory over Pochettino's Tottenham Hotspur. Mario, Martial, Kane uh, picking up the goals there. And Eric Bailly picking up a 10 Point zero for a man of the match. So we're going to go and go after the services of Shinji Kagawa now. 30 years of age. I would have loved to bring him in a little bit earlier, but the way the finances sort of sort of happened, we're going to be bringing him when he's 30. So he's going to be out of field. He's going to be able to have um, a decent couple of games for us. 30 years of age, 82 overall. We might have him for one season, two seasons, perhaps kind of more like um, Nangolan, just to sort of shore up the defense and... Um, Offense, sorry, not defense. Sure up the offense and just add some squad depth. For £18 million, I think that's an absolute bargain for Shinji. He's won £36,000 a week. We're probably going to have to offer him 100 He's a rotational player on a three-year deal. And uh, we're going to be signing Shinji Kagawa. He's going to be having his debut against... Manchester City, so Shinji Kagawa back at Manchester United. He's had a really sort of weird career. Obviously, started at Borussia Dortmund, then he went to United, went back to Borussia Dortmund. Now he's back at Old Trafford. <laughs> Not many times has they gone back and forth, back and forth like that twice. Okay, guys, we have transfer deadline day now. We've also loaned out some players. Kolasinac has left Arsenal. Hernandez has left. Oh, he's been brought in at West Ham. Okay. Are there any other big signings here? Mings has left Bournemouth. Uh, was that Mandzukic for Brighton? Ramsey's gone to Chelsea, which is fucking hilarious. We got, can't say it, a real um, cut face. Solanke has left. Oh, wow, okay. Gabriel Higway. What? Okay, so they've brought in Gabriel, the Brazilian, from Inter Milan. Um, Man City have, and they've also brought in Gonzalo Higuain, Gonzalo Higuain, <laughs> at Manchester City. I wonder if he will have his debut against us in uh, in the Manchester derby. Some other big deals going here. Who the hell is that leaving from some Mexican club? Oh, Florentina. Oh, Carlos Baca looks like he signed for Tottenham Hotspur. Juventus launch a £25 million bid for Luke Shaw in my Real Madrid career mode. Luke Shaw is, uh, he plays for Atletico, which is funny. We actually come accustomed to playing him quite a long time. So it's Holgate. Holgate plays for uh, yeah, Atletico Madrid in that career series as well. Bayern Munich signed Sergio Roberto for a whopping £44 million. Um, a lot of players coming from Bournemouth there. Zachary will try and move you on. Kalasinach. Well, we sold for like 28 million. Oh, 31 million pounds. Kalasinach was sold for. That's a pretty big deal. Liverpool bring... Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, Jurgen Klopp finally brings in a right-back replacement and brings in Horty Alba. Okay, guys, welcome to the second match of today's episode against Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. We're playing at home at Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams. Eric Beig has picked up the player of the month with that amazing match against Spurs and the goal. Griezmann, Lukaku, Messi up top, Ronaldo on the left, Martial Pogba Kante, Jose Jimenez Bay, Samuel Mtiti, and David De Gea in goal. We'll be facing Pep. Okay, guys, welcome to the match against Manchester City. Oscar is warming up. The former Chelsea man who went to China for a stint is back in the Premier League with a vengeance and is going to be facing us here today. I can't wait to see Manchester City's extra signings as well. Will we see Gonzalo Higuain? Gonzalo Higuain. Man, I'm excited. I'm not going to start Harry Kane, but I might bring him on a little bit earlier. He did score that last goal. Okay, so they're playing a five at the back. Higuain, Jesus, Oscar, Gundogan, De Bruyne. Stones, Otamendi, Company, Mendy, Walker. So, okay, an interesting front line there. Only really two changes are Oscar and Higuain. It's going to be cool. Martial zipping forward. Oh, Romelu slipped up to Mendy here. And it's Romelu. Oh, no. Sprays it to the left. 
Manchester City on the attack. Gabriel Jesus on the ball. Oh my god, De Bruyne, that's a foul. And we've created a good counter-attack regardless. Oh my god, Lukaku with the fight. Fake slips through Griezmann with the cutback. Griezmann puts it on a plate for Kante. Slams it across the deck. The five foot seven Frenchman comes screaming forward and runs into the crowd to celebrate with the Old Trafford faithful. It's 1 0 just before the 20th. Kante blistering forward from an amazing hold up and flick from Lukaku, holding up the ball well. Griezmann with the cutback, and the Frenchman comes screaming, screaming forward. Parlez vous Francais? Hey, parlez vous Francais? <laughs> Messi, Griezmann, Lukaku. Lukaku! Oh! He's not playing well. It's time to make some substitutions now. I'm going to have to bring off Lukaku at some point. I don't know. This season he's been very... Just sort of up in the air, you know? Griezmann's very quick and short going forward. He's really good on the ball. But then Lukaku is... I don't know. I think Harry Kane's just better in FIFA than Lukaku. I'm bumping the mic there, my bad. Let's uh, do a cup. Yeah, let's um, bring on Kagawa for his debut at least. Let's bring on Harry Kane. We're 1-0 up through an amazing goal from Kante. Like, Pogba having the allowance to go forward, Kante to drop back and defend is mwah, perfecto. Martial with the Ronaldo chop. Oh, Harry Kane gets the shot away on his Old Trafford debut. Oh, come on. Pogba to Ronaldo. Harry Kane. Harry Kane! Oh! It's the same shot with the Kaku I keep on missing. Marcus Rashford, fresh off the bench. He's got acres of space here. He loves scoring against Man City as well with the Ronaldo chop. Rashford! Marcus, Marcus. Oh! He's trying to hunt it back as well. Kagawa. Creating a lot of plays in the midfield. Back to Shinji. Kane. Feeds it wide to Martial. He's got a lot of space there. Oh, get it back to Shinji. Shinji Kagawa. Oh, my God. On his Manchester United debut, Shinji Kagawa puts the nail in the coffin. He seals the deal. She's all over Red Rover. Just before the 89th minute, Shinji Kagawa, 82 overall, 30 years of age in that attacking midfield position, creates an amazing piece of play there, beating the offside trap. Shinji hits it with his left, hits it hard and true, puts his laces through it. I'm absolutely ecstatic about that goal. I've gone way too over the top. I'm just so, so happy that I praised him up earlier on in the video and he's rose to the occasion here today in the Manchester Derby. Come on, Shinji. Who put in the comments if you love Shinji? Uh-oh. Gundogan nearly got stuck in, got slipped in there. Shinji drills it along the ground. What an amazing ball. Can he go two for two? Martial. <gasps> Shinji. No, no, no. Shinji. Kagawa. Oh, he's offside. Oh, he was nearly through there. Oh, you should have laid off a bit, Shinji. He had the pace. Kagawa again. And that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. We've claimed an amazing episode here today in those two matches, guys. Go and shake Pep's hand. He was really, really happy with the performance. We had a good bottle of red wine. We had a we had a wine and a mince pie up in the, the manager's box. So he managed to win 4-0 over Pochettino's Tottenham. And then we claimed a 2-0 victory. Six goals in today's episode. And what an amazing start for Season 3 of the Manchester United career mode. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know in the comments. Players you like to sign in January as the window has slammed shut. Also, what career modes you would like to see after this, of course. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer for that next upload. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and supporting this video. Leave a like if you haven't already. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer for that next episode. Subscribe if you're new around here for more FIFA 18 content. But let me know what type of videos you would like me to produce and what career modes you would like me to do in the future and players for this series as well. I think that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section down below those transfers, social media links wise. If you want to stay connected with me after this video, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram are all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days to get all the notifications for the channel 
you have to click subscribe and of course click the bell to join the notification squad i really do enjoy reading those comments patreon and steam group there as well come and join the community on steam if you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some psn and xbox codes to buy packs for fifa check out my g2a affiliation link in the description below for cheap psn and xbox codes i really do recommend just going checking out the prices and looking around the affiliation link is in the description below thank you very much for watching make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name is ben simsey goodbye mares whips it into the box royce that is just ridiculous with the layup marco royce